Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to our video once again. And today's video we're going to make an H5P application using question set. Okay. So go to content bank. Question set, what is that question set all about? It is used to as an assessment and a form assessment in the in the LMS so just go to directly to the application find question set question set you can uh, insert many questions and like the other uh, form of assessment in the H5P where you wherein you can only add or you can only have one question but in a question set you can have a series of questions and uh, of uh, different variety or form multiple choice fill in blanks drag and drop whatsoever all right so copy the title so i'll, I'll make title as let us assess and of course we will have our introduction so it's time to try the fruit of our labor okay can be or let us uh, okay let us assess no? let's see you know again this is trial and error start to check first center bold letters again uh, what we're going to do is just reuse use preview save and preview the the progress and check if it's according to our liking if not we can edit very easy guys downloads get the of course I have to find my background here I just uploaded it while ago okay this is my background so in my in my uh, display introduction next background image if you want you can add background image during the the quiz itself so i'll choose a background image here okay i'll choose this one i think it's i hope it's it's clean behind that's you can have that's as progress if you want only that's textual if, if you want to see the num number of items as you go along taking the quiz or as the learner taking the quiz okay let's check first the appearance the appeal okay so that this is how it will look like let us assess it's time to try the fruit to our journey Okay, yeah, look at that. Maybe, I don't know. What, what do you think, guys? Is this okay? Okay, then start quiz. And uh, as you can see, we have the background here uh, that we have uploaded. And we have the textual here. You can see the number of questions, your progress. Sigo along taking the test. Okay, or the learner taking the test. Next, let's add. Okay, so let's add a question. No? So to make it easier, uh, first you have to my my I have fifteen item questions, so I'm gonna go check multiple choice, and then instead of individually putting it here, I have to make a shortcut. I'll go to textual, and then copy paste all my. Uh, multiple choice questions here uh, 15 items okay so what I'm doing now behind the camera is I am copying copy pasting okay so I have the 15 uh, item multiple choice copied and then I will just 
hit control V or paste and there you go those are my number of these are my questions coming of course from my, my, my learning resource material which is the SLM so next we're going to format it according to the mechanics or guidelines in the so if you are not familiar with the guidelines it is provided in the below no below the editing uh, table okay so put asterisk in the answer key okay so we're going to do that uh, uh, and then let's uh, edit this according to the format space between items so number two and the choices should be aligned vertically like that then next then no space between sentences or words in the question not not really on the every sentence about the in between lines just like this one here so you need to backspace should be no space between lines another one here like that and we have another one and then space between item okay so the process is uh, it's just repeating guys that's the that's, that's, that's how we edit the text here this is way more easy compared to copy pasting it individually word for word sentence by sentence it will take time if that's the case okay let's check check first do you assume mechanical eye next oh, so we have here just a box space another box spacing here okay I hope you can follow guys if you cannot follow because I'm fast you can uh, what is the two wait so with number six okay, okay so we have so this is You can you you can get rid of the the le the letter choices. It's another option if you want to to make your options random or rearrange every time that the learner will answer. You can do that, but uh, in my case, I'll have to stick to the SLM. Or easy editing like this okay cut that and uh, bring the letter D down and insert the letter C okay so just again uh, we should uh, fill up the entire space first before going to another line so that 
the application uh, will not recognize that as another option you, re you will realize that once you are doing this on your own so just go back to the edit mode if that occurs cut the larger bring down D and paste we're down to item number 13 in just a matter of how many minutes I don't know I'm not counting I'm not taking time taking notice of the time slow down the reaction what is happening here I think that's the Format A, B, C, and D, and down to last one of the choices, last item, B, C, D. Okay, so you have here, and uh, counter check, okay, so you have page number is also included okay. okay so I think we're good let's put in the answer keys of course AAC okay so again put asterisk in the answer A A C and let's check if it's correct what will happen to the temperature of the temperature of the rate of reaction increases okay i think that's correct what will happen to the collision between particles when there's an increase in the temperature okay number four bdb four five six again bdb okay so just copy the asterisk then just paste it b t Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, so we, we have to. We missed the number four. So B, 5D, and 6B. PDB. Okay, then triple A, 789. Triple A, 789. Triple A battery. Okay, next, then ACC. Okay, again. Make it easier, just copy the asterisk and just paste it in the next items ACC, then BBA. B, B, A. Okay, guys, I think we're done here. So let's check how it goes. If it goes well, then. We can uh, already post it to our elements. Okay. Check. Okay. So look at that. The the letters are disarranged. So that's the one that we will edit. Let's check the entire question. We have the progress text here. One one two questions will go along. It will change. Okay. Let's go through all of the items first. Okay, so we have that. So what we will edit is this, the arrangement of the letter choices. So it's just very easy guys. All you need to do is uh, again a rotinary edit click number item number one and go to behavior and click randomize answer okay and that is true to all item and click randomize answer we need to repeat this 15 times depending on the number of items you have if you want it easier, do not include the letter choices. So, if you want uh, 
it uh, randomized directly much better if you don't have choices included in the test okay so what will be what will be left are the answers and, uh, and uh, what will the students do is that they will just click on the answers so without referring to the letter choices but i like the letter choice even if it's uh, painstakingly individually be to be edited i still like it but if uh, in my case if i don't have time enough time i'll exclude the letter choices just to save time but right now i have a lot of time in the world so i'm not doing anything so i'm just gonna have it the retain the letter choices and it's just uh, maybe around two minutes to do this so okay we're done here let's check of course we can uh, have also randomize the questions but that's up to you know okay so look at the choices guys it's already arranged look at that all of them so we're good to go this is how the question set is done so if you have questions clarifications comments suggestions just comment down below guys and uh, feel free to hit the notification bell share it with your friends and who are doing lms using h5p that's it see you in the next video